Okay, so today's video is covering two syllabus points, all about what an alloy is, um, what they're made from, and why they're super useful. The definition that we're going to use for an alloy is that it's a mixture of two or more elements, where at least one of those elements is a metal. can be more than one, but it must be at least one. Before we get started on looking at alloys, let's first of all look at what the structure of a pure metal looks like. This is a little bit of a diagram as to how it looks. So what you've got here is layers of positively charged metal ions surrounded by a sea of delocalized electrons that are allowed to move throughout. That's what helps it to conduct electricity. Now the problem with this is that these layers can slide over each other really, really easily and that makes the metal really malleable, which is great because the metals can move and can be molded into shapes. But sometimes we want to build things like bridges and buildings, which we don't want to be malleable in any way, shape or form. So in this scenario, we use alloys. So if I draw what an alloy looks like here, you can see that I now have the black circles for the original metal, um, but now I've kind of interspersed these big green circles which represent another element, whatever that might be. It might be another metal, it might be carbon um, or anything else. So what you can see now is that the layers aren't arranged in straight lines anymore, it's all a bit up and down. And that means that they can't slide over each other like they could do before. So, if the question is, why do we use alloys rather than the pure metals? It's simply because they're so much harder and that makes them so much more useful for many more things. For example, you've got bronze, which is a mixture of copper, tin, and aluminium. You've also got steel, which is super important, um, which is a mixture of iron and carbon blended together. Um, and even things like stainless steel is an alloy made from iron, chromium, and nickel. There are loads of examples of alloys all used for completely different things, but it means that the properties of the alloy are completely different from the metal's properties originally. Okay, that's a wrap for today. That is all you need to know about uh, alloys. Make sure that you've had a look at that diagram and that you can recognize those, um, as well as making sure that you can talk about why alloys are quite often um, the most frequently used form of metals rather than pure metals.